What is up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tyler. Today I've got a new video for all of you. So if you read the title, you know that this video will be a mukbang slash Q&A. I just sent out my story right now. Time check, it's 10 o'clock. So I've got about two or three hours before lunchtime. And before we get into that feast, I'm gonna go play basketball real quick right now so I can get really hungry before we get down to the eating and all. And also I'm gonna go hit up my girlfriend so she can eat along with us because she also ordered it from the same place. I'll tell you more details later, but real quick, let's go play basketball. This boy woke up early as hell just to play Minecraft. Hot as hell. Delivery man, let's go. Four nine, sir. Huh? Two four nine. Two four nine. Two four nine, sir. Namat, sir. Good yeah, boy. And whew, I'm about done with my basketball. I, I just got the food. I'm sorry if I'm super sweaty. Pao, she just told me it's only supposed to be 200 and I paid the guy 250. Actually, I paid 270 because I tipped 20 pesos also. So I paid 270, but honestly, who cares, man? It's just, what is that? That's 70 pesos. That's like, it's just a dollar and 50 cents. I know, I know some people are be like, yo, sadna al or whatever, but to be honest, this guy's out here driving, exposing himself, you know, is his health not, uh, is his health not worth 70 more pesos? You know what I'm saying? and his labor. If it's as good as I think it should be, then I'll pay him another 70 pesos. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ready real quick, guys. Be right back. It's a good day to save lives. Uh, I, my girlfriend just texted me right now. She said it's really, let me get It's delicious. Anyway, I'm not gonna open it yet to see what is inside. <coughs> I'm gonna make a new batch of rice, guys. Probably just three cups. You know, your boy hungry as hell. using one is the one or one is the 1.5 or one is the one plus one more at the end once you know you don't need cup trust in the process we don't use the cup method we use the good old finger method i'd rather have dry rice than super wet rice you know what i'm saying that seems about right about halfway Never forget, number one thing, your mom's gonna beat your ass if you don't always click cook, okay? Okay guys, so we just made the rice. It's cooking right now, give that about 25 minutes. 30 if you wanna cook it really well. We got this, <sighs> tired as hell. But I know it's gonna be a good meal. I'm gonna shower real quick because I don't wanna be really sweaty and stuff sitting down and eating in front of y'all. I'll be right back. Next time you see me, we'll be set up at the, the dining table. So, see you guys. What is up y'all? Rice is done. I just made some iced tea. Okay, so if you read the title again, today we're gonna eat some... We're about to open it up. Ooh! Hey! So I ordered this all from uh, the Onion Brunch. 
put it right here. It was only 200 pesos. Can't remember everything off the top of my head, but it should be right here. You know, I'll just pull up a picture. Lumpia Taugi, Lumpia Shanghai, Ngoyong, Lunganisa, Pork Chop, and Chiron Bulaklak. Okay, so I posted the story. Posted the story. Then to ask everybody, send in their questions and I'll try and answer them now. Okay, so they come with these. Ooh, they come inside. So I gotta get a little saucer. Y'all wanna see? Oh, this is so cute. It's so nicely packed. Tyler Rossell, One Box Happy Eating, Cartoon Network. Okay, we get sauce. Damn, they gave every, like all sauce possible. While we're gonna set up, I'm gonna call my girlfriend right now. So let's start putting the sauces. Then we got our Ngoyong sauce. I don't know what Ngoyong means. It's Chinese, I guess. It means like long ass lumpia. I'm not gonna explain what each and everything is. Most of my viewers probably already know what it is, but for those who don't, you can just look it up. So we got our. Oh shit! Okay, take two. So we have chili sauce and this Ngoyong sauce. Put them right here. And then, of course, you gotta get your onion mang. I guess that's why they're called onion brunch, because it's like onion breakfast for lunch. Can you all see? Uh, you know, can you all see? Oh, there we go, that's better. So we got this all up in here. Okay, y'all, so it's time to unbox this B word. Woohoo! Yo, here we got our chicharon bulaklak or ginabot. Yo, they said five pieces, but they only gave us five slices. I wouldn't mind paying like an extra 50 pesos to give me four more slices. No more? So we got our pork chop, we got our lumpia, we got our lunganisa, and we got our ngoyong. And we got our sauces and our thing. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, she's right there. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Okay, so let's get... Oh, you okay? You yeah. good? You good? Yeah. Make some room, yo. Let's get one more pick, yo. Okay, pour some. Oh. We got a lot more rice to go through, but don't worry. Let's get into this right now. You don't want to pray? Let's just alert for this magnet, which we're about to receive from the bounty in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's go! I asked you guys to ask me questions before we start. Let's answer one. This comes from my friend Arvin. Follow him on Instagram here. His question is, would you rather have lumpia legs or chorizo fingers? Would I rather have chorizo fingers right here or lumpia legs? I think I'm gonna go with chorizo fingers, but I'm more of a lumpia fan. But you know, you can eat your fingers, but you can't eat your legs. <clears throat> Where should I start? Let's start with the big boy. Big ass ngoyong. Get some of that ngoyong sauce. How does this work? <laughs> Yo! They got some actual stuff inside their ngoyong, which is good. You know, there's a bunch of other ngoyong that just have like, sticks. Okay, let's get some. Some of these onions. No young so far. Scale of 10. I'd give this an 8. Babe. Babe, you can turn on your mic. What's wrong? You can talk. I'll eat that next. Honestly, I love a good pork chop, but I think pork chops are one of the easier things to mess up. You know, you can always underdo them or overdo them. By the way, some pork chop. Mm, it's pretty good. I'd give this one around like a six or seven, probably a seven. It would probably taste better like fresh I'm, I'm not saying it's not fresh i mean like if we ate it when they made it you know right babe Hello, I'm going to 
Yeah, yo, it's literally five pieces, like five small pieces. About to finish the pork chop, y'all. It's gonna refill on rice. I'm trying the vegetable lumpia. Vegetable lumpia, it's lumpia tauki. Tauki. Woohoo! Okay, in it. Uh, six. Six point five. Yeah, if, if you've been to Sidio Pongo Pongo or any Pongo Pongo guys, then this is pretty good. It's just not as, I don't know, doesn't have the same vibe. Let's answer another question. This one comes from Kyle Flores. Follow him on Instagram. What is the biggest regret of your life? Breaking up with me. No regrets. Oh! I don't really know. I don't have a lot of regrets. That's not to be like a cliche answer, but maybe, maybe. This is a weird one. I wish I would have started uh, YouTube earlier. Maybe that I'd have 100,000 subscribers right now. I guess my biggest regret was back in high school. I didn't spend a lot of time doing extracurriculars. I had basketball, but it kind of flew by really fast. I can't say the same about college because I, I really enjoyed college. I don't think I really enjoyed high school as much as I should. I guess that. But again, I don't really have a lot of regrets about life because I just take things as they happen. Let's get back to right now. Oh, I. Okay, let's get into the lumpia. Lumpia taugi. This isn't uh, meat. This isn't meat lumpia. So inside of it is vegetables. So. I don't know if you can see. Let's get into it. I'm gonna just eat this big, this small one together. So we got our lumpia sauce right here. You know, the one I spilled earlier. Kind of, this might sound weird, babe. The the lumpia kind of tastes like McDonald's French fries. <laughs> I mean, when I I dipped it in the sauce, and I could taste the sauce a lot more than the actual lumpia. But let's try it again. What the hell? I think this is. I don't think they're all. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry, my bad. Some of them are. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are lumpia Shanghai. So yeah, there's pork inside. The, the taugi ones were I. Probably six, six point five. Okay, this is another one. This is the Lumpia Shanghai. Yeah. I'd give that one solid eight. That was good. By the way, Onion Brunch isn't sponsoring me, but if the, if you guys want to sponsor me, I'll eat more. And let's answer another question. Uh, this one comes from my friend Isis Pralta, follower on Instagram. Dick Sakit Satian. <laughs> um, well, I, I can't say now. Maybe later I can answer, but I don't think so. Uh, so if you know, Pungo Pungo, that's uh, Cebuano. It means squat squat. But it, it's really like, uh, refers to places or restaurants on the side of the road or like street food where you just sit down on small stools. They're associated with stomach pains and stuff, food, food poisoning just because it is street food. But this is, I don't think this, this it looks, tastes pretty clean. <laughs> we'll find out in like an hour or two. One more before we get back. Um, this one comes from my cousin, Cosil Russell, follower on Instagram. What is probably the hardest thing to lose? Her question to me last Q&A video was about working out and exercise. So does this mean like, like lose weight or lose in life? Probably the hardest thing to lose weight wise is like these love handles, you know? When you have some bill bills thing in life in general i'd probably say probably motivation you know you lose motivation then that's kind of kind of hard to find motivation to go on whether it be in school or in workouts or just in work or whatever you know it's a depressing question let's get back in so we're gonna eat some of this is this chorizo babe chorizo ah, longanisa. okay let's go where do i dip this we're just gonna dip this into this you know what? let's just eat the, the other piece without sauce yet I guess this is my fifth scoop of rice already. It was a good thing we worked out, guys, before. Or we played basketball before. Let's try it with some of the onions. Yeah, I can have with that. That's like seven. So far, the best thing, surprisingly, ngoyong. Not really much of a ngoyong person. 
Okay, so yeah, my girlfriend mentioned to me, she just texted me some, something she noticed as well. She said, one, good packaging and environmental friendly. Look at this, dude. It's, it's a brown cardboard box, card paper box. They did have the plastic, but I guess that's just for the carrier because we had this delivered earlier. Underneath of the food, there's a paper thing to absorb the. Ooh, that's true. I have some bones in here, but you see? There's. That's true. That's why it's not so soggy. That's good. That's that's right. The arrangement is nice. Yeah, I, I do believe. I kind of effed it up because I dumped everything on here, but it is pretty good. And I like the way they stack the sauces, man. That was... Give that a 10. So let's jump into the ginaput that they gave us only five slices. Dip some of this in the sauce. I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get one more bite. By the way, this is not an ASMR thing where I'm supposed to smack my lips or something because I don't eat like that. <laughs> I like to chew with my mouth closed. Honestly speaking, it's a good, it's good, ginaput or chicharan bulaklak. But I've had a lot better ones before. It would have been better. I ate it right away when it was super crispy. But. <clears throat> what what separates other Pongo Pongo? The good ones from the great ones is some good ass ginapot. Let's get one more and then we'll go back. Let's get some more rice. About halfway done with the rice. Let's answer another question, guys. This one comes from my friend Ashley. Follow her on Instagram. What's something you could teach me about? Ash, I could probably teach you how to bake. Man. <laughs> I'm just playing Ash. I don't think you know how to drive, Ash. I'm not sure. I think that I'm a helpful driving instructor. I'm not saying I'm a good one. I think I have a lot of tips. Maybe you're expecting like a very inspirational answer, Ash. Life-wise, application. I can help, I can teach you how to drive. I'm not getting you a car or something. I'm getting pretty full, guys. Another question. This one comes from Catherine. Follow her on Instagram. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. I need a list, and then I can probably choose some from. I don't know, guilt, because guilty pleasures really mean usually means it's like uh, something you don't want people to know about, right? Or like you don't. I don't know, Kath. I'm I'm sorry. I don't have an answer for that. Guilty pleasures. A guilty pleasure is something such as a film, a television program, a piece of music that one enjoys despite understanding that is not generally held in high regard or seen as unusual or weird. Hmm. This. <laughs> you know what this is? It's a freaking inhaler. I don't know. I carry it everywhere, and I. I go to sleep with it, smelling it sometimes. That's, that could probably be a health hazard. Another one from Kat. What do you think is the best feeling in the world? I'm gonna list them. One, finding money or change in your pocket that you didn't know it was there. Two, waking up to bacon being cooked by your mom on a Saturday morning. Three, exams being canceled. Four, seeing a brand new tube of toothpaste on the bathroom counter. And five, family reunions. Woo. I'm gonna call it quits. I gotta finish the rice. Finish it off with some. Lumpia Makdo fries. Try them. I mean, I can't be the only one who thinks they taste like McDonald's french fries. I promise, come on. <laughs> Let's go through some of these questions. This one comes from Sean. I'm gonna walk on the up at Google Meet. Why didn't I join the Google Meet? They had a Google Meet session last night. They were drinking and stuff. I didn't join because I wasn't feeling well last night. Camera shy. This one comes from Earl. What's the difference between apertada, mechado, mikado, and calderita or caldereta? I'm gonna be honest with you, Earl. I really don't know. I assume that they're kind of the same, like orange food. I think this was supposed to be a joke, but haha, <laughs> jokes on you. I don't understand. This one comes from Jason. Mary Kill, Gwen, Devera, Gerard Onias, and Obet Petere. I'm gonna F Gerard. He's a pretty boy. One and done. But I'm always on the top. Mary, I'm gonna go with Obet. Obet is like a dad already, so he's like he looks like a family man. He actually he is family oriented. And I feel like he can bring home the bacon while I stay home and watch the kids. And kill, I'm gonna go with Gwen. Why? If you know Gwen, I think you'd kill him too. That's nah, fine. It's gonna go kill Gwen. Just so I can say I did. Next question. This one comes from JM. Follow him on Instagram right here. Do you imagine yourself working as a PT by the age of 50? 
No, I don't even imagine myself working as a PT by the age of 40, but I will be working in a line of work, hopefully, where I can use my physical therapy expertise. What do I mean? Uh, I don't want to be a physical therapist by the conventional means, by the age 50. I want to be like a, a business owner for something PT related, like a gym or a basketball training camp, whatever. I want to use it as a stepping stone for future endeavors. I want to be an, a business owner. This one comes from JM's little sister, Janina. Follow her on Instagram here. What are the life lessons you learned while in college? It's a good question. There's a lot. Let me finish this little gap first. Whew. I'm done. One, as I said this before, invest in good karma, find a good group of friends, and stick with them. Because nobody's gonna love me better. I must stick with you forever. Nobody gonna take me higher. I must stick with you. Pussycat dolls, have a good circle. You can tell a lot by a person by looking at their friends. Uh, especially now in college, people take it for granted. Two, don't take yourself too seriously, man. Just have a girl. <laughs> Realize that this is supposed to be one of the best four year streaks of your life, you know? You should be having fun. You should be making memories, you know? You should be making mistakes. Make mistakes early so you can learn the lesson early. Go out late, sneak out. I'm just playing, ask for permission. And then if you don't get permission, that's when you sneak out, you know? Don't just sneak out without a reason that they said no. Three, Probably the most important life lesson I've learned is toxicity is optional. You don't have to surround yourself with people that you wouldn't want to be around, you know. Especially in high school, we're around people that we wouldn't necessarily want to be around, but we don't want to be judged like, So manajoy, KJ manajoy. They'll think you're a KJ or a Killjoy. They might think others keka or like, you don't want to be around that group because you're better than them. But you are better than them, Janina. Damn, I'm oily. Toxicity is optional. If you don't like this person, you don't have to like shun them for the rest of their life, but you don't, you're not forced to be with them, you know? You don't have to be around them. Go to the, the people that you can be around and you'll enjoy it. Don't be around the people where you have to force yourself. And last question comes from my boy, Chris Ray. Follow him on Instagram right here. Best fried chicken you ever had? Question mark. We both know we love fried chicken. One, two, three. Legit, best fried chicken. Popeyes, man. If, if you haven't tried Popeyes chicken, then like you're really missing out. Get some of them biscuits and that, that honey spread, you know, put it on the biscuit. Get some chicken, tear off that skin, dip it in that honey mix. You know what I'm saying? Best fried chicken. Uh, I'm gonna clean up real quick, guys. Give me a second. That was good, man. Food was good. Top notch. For 200 pesos, worth it, man. For people who don't have big appetites, that's a good two-person food. Worth the buy, I would recommend it to anybody. If you are into Punko Punko type of foods or street foods, I don't think my stomach will hurt later. So, if you guys enjoyed this video or this type of video or content like this or the content I share on my channel, please, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I really appreciate all the likes and all the subs and all the shares. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video for other people who might enjoy. Shout out to The Onion Brunch for this meal. They didn't sponsor me, but if you want to sponsor your boy, I will gladly eat more. As always, have safe and stay fun everyone.